What would you do if you were the ruler of the Roman Empire? Would you work tirelessly to raise the standard of living and lead your empire into its next golden age? Or would you spend all your time doing the historical equivalent of snorting coke and banging hookers? To be honest, I think most of us would land somewhere in between these two. But even those of you who think you'd just become the most hedonistic coke-fueled emperors still probably have nothing on the debauchery of Caligula. And if you do, you should probably see a therapist because this guy was really screwed up. So Caligula was born in the year 12 to a loving family who all got systematically slaughtered because of a man named Tiberius aka the emperor of rome and also technically caligula's great uncle well actually not everyone died because caligula's sister was also lucky enough to not get spawn killed by tiberius anyway caligula was about 19 when tiberius the guy who literally murdered his entire family invited caligula to live with him in his palace now obviously caligula wasn't too fond of the guy but he didn't have much of a choice so he just sat around and watched as tiberius did tiberius things like one of his favorite hobbies was having massive orgies with kids and then throwing said kids off cliffs once he was done with them. Yeah, Tiberius was like ancient Rome's Jeffrey Epstein. He even had his own island too. Anyway, so Tiberius eventually started to take a liking to Caligula. So much so that he allowed Caligula to start hosting his own orgies. They grow up so fast. Anyway, a few years later, Tiberius ended up kicking the bucket. And one possible reason that he died is Caligula still wasn't all too fond of the guy, so... And with Tiberius gone, Caligula was now the man on the throne. So, for the first few months, Caligula was actually a really good emperor. His big thing was giving everybody free bread and gladiator games, which made everyone in Rome fall in love with the guy. Especially since their last emperor was the guy who was throwing little kids off cliffs. And I mean, Caligula did do the same thing, but hey, he gave out free bread, right? Anyway, eventually the good times ended when Caligula got really, really sick. He was on the brink of death and running a fever for a month, which means he basically had the equivalent of his brain in a microwave for an entire month straight. And because of that, when Caligula got back, he was acting a little out of pocket. For one, since at this point in Caligula's reign, everyone still loves him, some of the senators were going up to Roman gods and saying stuff like, I wish I could trade my life to save Caligula from death, and things of that nature. So when Caligula does end up surviving and heard what all these senators were saying, he called all these senators together and was like, Hey guys, thanks for all the kind wishes on all, but I'm, I'm still here, so... And then every senator who was called was forced to commit suicide, which I don't really think counts as committing suicide anymore if they were forced to commit suicide. I think they were just murdered at that point, but yeah. So this is when shit started to hit the fan, basically. So one time, when someone asked an oracle if Caligula would ever become emperor, the oracle responded that Caligula would no more become emperor, that he would drive his chariot across the Bay of Baia, which was basically the old-timey way of saying, no, no, he's, he's not going to become emperor. But then Caligula did become emperor, albeit through less than honorable ways so once he got finished with the senators he decided to get every single boat in rome and make this humongous bridge just so he could ride his horse across it for two days straight anyway one of caligula's favorite habits was that he would crash weddings say he wanted the bride then he would smash the bride on her wedding and then the next day he said he didn't want her anymore and leave some other stuff he did in no particular order of grotesqueness is he threw razors with underage boys and girls, for old times' sake, I guess. He also made the remaining senators walk beside his chariot at events to degrade them. He also married his sister, which is like the tamest thing he's done so far. And apparently he was so madly in love with her that he paraded her everywhere he went. But then his sis ended up dying, and Caligula completely lost his mind. So he forced everyone in Rome to pray for her like she's a god, and then later named his daughter after her. Daddy, how did I get my name? Oh, funny story. Basically, me and my sister... So after his sister slash wife died, Caligula got back on the dating market, probably also scaring away almost all of Rome's females out of the dating market. But he ended up meeting Melonia, who is just as psychotic and messed up as he was. Like, for example, one of the ways he would flirt with her was that he'd be like, I can cut your throat right now. And she'd be like, oh my god, you're so cute, stop it. And honestly, reading this gave me hope because there really is someone out there for everybody, guys. Don't lose hope. Anyway, now that Caligula had conquered the world of dating, it was time for him to conquer the world through military conquest. His goal was to take over Britain, which at the time no Roman emperor could seem to do. Anyway, Caligula decided he would be the first Roman emperor to change that. So Caligula gathered all the troops and resources and set off to to make his mark in history but when he actually got to the beach that would take him to britain he was like fuck that 
and instead had all his soldiers collect seashells and bring them back to Rome as spoils of a great victory. Caligula also eventually started balding, and he started to become very insecure about this. And Caligula wouldn't have this issue if it wasn't for today's video sponsor, Keeps. No, no, I'm kidding. Maybe one day though. But anyway, Caligula actually was going bald. And this is before you could take a weekend holiday to Turkey to fix your hairline. So after talking it over with his therapist, Caligula figured the most healthy way of self-acceptance was that every time he goes parading down Rome and saw someone with a full head of hair, he would forcefully shave it on the spot. Also, another time, Caligula wanted to sacrifice a bull for a ritual, but instead of killing the bull, he just bludgeoned the guy that was holding down the bull, just cause. <laughs> Another time there was some gladiator game going on and there was wild animals in the middle fighting. And because they ran out of prisoners to throw at these animals, Caligula just threw the entire bottom row of spectators in. Anyway, it turns out all the things Caligula was up to was not very conducive to being well liked by the people of Rome because in the year of 41, Caligula got assassinated along with his wife and daughter. And so ended the reign of Caligula. I hope you enjoyed. Consider liking and subscribing. Also, I'm live on this channel almost every weekday, so check that out and yeah, bye.